Hi guys, in this video, I want to show how to set up eCase cluster. First, we'll see setting up the cluster, then connecting to the cluster, followed by deploying applications into the cluster. Let's get started. Right now, I am in AWS Management Console. Let's go and open Elastic Kubernetes Service. Go to Clusters, create cluster. And uh, I hope everyone knows EKS is a Kubernetes platform provided by Amazon Web Services. Yeah, let's give a name. Let's choose a Kubernetes version. Uh, I like to choose the default default version here. We need a role, a service role for setting up the cluster. This role is required for uh, Kubernetes cluster to uh, manage AWS resources on our behalf. So let's open IAM console. Let's go there. Click on roles. Create role. And uh, we have to choose the service EKS. EKS. And it is second option here. EKS cluster. Select and uh, let's attach permissions. I want to attach Amazon EKS cluster policy. Tags, they are optional. I'm skipping them. Hit create. After creating role, let's come back, refresh this screen, go to drop down, Java Home EKS demo. Let's go next. And let's choose networking. I want to choose VPC where my cluster should be set up. I want to go with default VPC and default subnets. I want to keep this endpoint public. And I'm leaving other options uh, as it is. Go next. And if you want to enable logging for API server, authenticator, you choose these options you enable here. I want to keep it off. Go next. Create cluster. This could take about uh, five, 10 minutes. I'll pass video once the cluster is ready. I'll be back. Okay, our cluster is ready and active. Let's go and add uh, node groups to our cluster. Node groups are a group of uh, EC2 instances. That's where we deploy our pods, our applications. EKS offers uh, EC2 instance based group and uh, forget profiles. So in forget profiles, it won't expose EC2 instances for us and it's all managed by Amazon, okay? But in this example, I wanna show you how to add node groups. So let's go and add a node group. Let's give a name. Let's call it high nodes. And again, yeah, we need IAM role for node groups. Let's go to I am console, go to roles, hit create role. And uh, this time I want this role for node groups, nothing but EC2 instances. So be careful, don't choose EKS, it should be EC2. Let's go ahead with permissions, tags. Okay, I'm sorry. So we should add a permissions like policies. Here we have to choose uh, Amazon EKS worker node policy and Amazon EKS CNA policy. And the next one is Amazon EC2 container registry read only. If um, our pods wants to pull images from our ECR, it needs permissions. Tags, review,
create row. Now go back to refresh and yeah, this one Java Home EKS Node Group. So we have options like launch template. If we want to launch EC2 instances based on launch template, I could use that. You can have Kubernetes labels, stains, and all that. I'm leaving them. I don't need that for this demonstration. Let's go ahead. And here we can choose uh, AMI type, capacity type. Okay. So instance types, default is T3 medium. I, I would like to go with default. And uh, node group scaling configuration. I want to bring this down to one okay and uh, node group update configuration so when you update node group you're saying minimum number of instances that should be up and running or we can choose in percentage not important now go next and choose subnets where our uh, node group should be launched i'm okay with default uh, subnets I want to remove that that's a custom subnet created so go next hit create this could take some time let's wait well node group got created we see one node running here now let's go ahead and uh, see the steps to uh, get authenticated to this cluster for deploying our applications so go here so from this document so i'm referring to cluster authentication so create a cube config for amazon eks let's follow this one by one let's copy this right see i have uh, access key secret keys configured on my local laptop that's created through root user and important point to note here i created my cluster with root user so the keys we're using should be uh, same uh, i mean i mean to say the keys we're using here should be the keys of the user used in the console to create the cluster okay then so we want to create cube config cube config is a config file where it stores a credentials and using which we interact with a kubernetes cluster so uh, let's make sure we have the proper and right version of amazon cli it expects 1.16.156 okay Yes, we have better version of AWS CLI. Go down. Go down and copy this link. Let's change region. Cluster name this command is getting information uh, from EKS and it's updating a uh, cube config file on my local machine so now if all went well uh, I should be able to uh, execute my uh, kubectl commands kubectl get nodes perfect right we we got one node in our uh, node group so it's showing that node for us and make sure you're installing kubectl on your laptop so that needs to be installed i'll put the links in description block for uh, installing kubectl now let's go ahead and deploy our application 
onto the cluster. In my GitHub, I have a Kubernetes repository in that pods folder. Inside pods folder, grab this command. Referring to pods.yml, this is our pods uh, specification file. It creates a pod with container name, node app, and the image. This image is part of my Docker Hub, and that image is public, so you guys can try. And container port, it's running on 8080. So grab this from local terminal, execute that. Yes, we successfully submitted pods.yml to the cluster and we got a response pod slash node app created. I'm going to call get pods. Its status is container creating. Let's check again. It's running. So uh, we are able to successfully deploy our pod into the Kubernetes cluster. All right, that's all from this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you, bye.